what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at system restore i've been pretty sick so i'm a bit a bit behind on the times but i wanted to give you an update on this one here about the uh, system restore feature which has a serious flaw with it so let me just explain to you so windows 10 uh, serious sam vulnerability also known as hive nightmare which is another uh, issue for windows 10 and windows 11 which is to do with uh, zero day so let's take a look at some of the information that i found online about this so you can see here the windows elevation of privilege vulnerability i'll leave the links for this in the video description it's a security vulnerability that uh, has now been brought to the attention to microsoft so let's explain exactly how an attacker would be able to exploit this. Well, the attacker would need to have the ability to execute the code on the victim's system to exploit this vulnerability. Now, there is a reason why these permissions are there, but once the attacker could uh, get onto the system, they can install programs, uh, view, change, or delete data, or even create new accounts with full user rights once they get onto the, uh, onto the system but they would need to get access to that um, before they can run any of this code and stuff like that on there. Now, there is a workaround here that Microsoft have put out here, which restricts access to the contents of WinDIR, uh, System32 and Config. And you can see here that we've got a couple of commands we can run here. We can also delete the uh, volume shadow copies uh, service, the VSS shadow copies. And you can see here the impact of the workaround as well, where it says deleting shadow copies could impact system restore operations. Now, looking on Bleeping Computer's website here, Microsoft has shared a workaround for Windows 10 Zero Day vulnerability dubbed Serious Sam that can let hackers gain administrative rights on vulnerability systems executing, uh, you know, arbitrary code with uh, system privileges. You can read all that article. I'll leave all the links in the video description. Um, it does stay pretty much the same thing as what Microsoft says, but it's a little bit more uh, in depth there. So I'll leave both of the links for these. And you can see here an attacker could then install programs, view, change, delete, all that sort of stuff. And you can also see here there's workarounds on here, just like you would have on the Microsoft website here. So take a look at these workarounds. Um, you're going to have to run these in command prompt or powershell let me go ahead and i'll show you how to do that so you can copy the code from bleeping computers website or from uh, microsoft's website it's the same code so it doesn't really matter type cmd and run this as administrator to open up the command prompt you can then paste in uh, the command and it will basically uh, you can see here we can now run this and it will basically say successfully process 45 files failed processing zero files right at the very bottom there so that has executed properly here and if you want to see it in powershell let me just quickly do that in powershell for you you can right click on the start button here let me just close that box off right click on the start button and go to windows powershell with administrator privileges and paste that same command in here and push enter and it will give you the same results here as you can see now you can also what i would advise you to do if you don't use system restore is turn it off completely which i would advise you to do personally with vulnerabilities like that once the exploit has been known uh, to um, hackers and other nasty people out there it's not very good and it's always best to take precautions so you can see here in system restore when we type system restore in search you can see our system restore is running and active on one drive which is on our c drive here so if you want to turn it off you can disable system uh, protection here and by just putting the radio button in there click apply click yes and then you can delete all the stored restore points here as well by just doing this and push continue so let's move on to the other section if you want to block system restore in uh, group policy you can go to the search box and type gp edit inside here and this will open up the group policy editor. We can edit our policies inside here. You will need Windows 10 Pro and above to do this. But basically what you would do here is go to local computer policy, computer configuration, administrative templates, open up this and then go system and come down. And what you're looking for here, we're just going to come all the way down here. And we're looking for 
uh, system uh, restore and you can see it on the left hand side there and you can see it on the right hand side as well so click on system restore and you can see it on the left as well there and you can see here we've got turn off configuration or turn off system restore so we're going to turn off uh, system restore here go in here and we can hit disable <clears throat> and that's then disabled that feature and what that basically does is it doesn't allow the person to enable a system restore on that computer and it'll completely be disabled now if you don't have windows 10 pro and you've got windows 10 home open up the registry editor and go h key local machine go software come down and look for policies open this up and go to where it says microsoft click on this one and we can come down a bit where it says windows nt come down a little bit further and you should see system restore here now the key is automatically put in here because i've done a group policy edit and it's added that registry key in but you would need to add in a registry key here so you need to right click on any blank space in here you're not going to see disabled sr here on windows 10 ohm because you don't have group policy editor right click new d word 32 bit value and you'll see it's added a key in here and we can now put in disable sr now i've already got it here but you would need to add this in and then open it up and give it a value of zero and that will then disable it okay and that's basically how you could disable that inside your registry so that is now disabled and it's fully disabled on the system now you can see here delete shadow volume uh, copy service for ess and you can see delete any system restore points and all that sort of stuff you can read all that information here i'll leave all the links for this stuff in the video description so you can read it at your own leisure here but there is a little link on the right hand side here which says kb uh, 500 5357 and uh, you can click on this and it will say delete volume shadow copies and you can have a read of that as well uh, by clicking on that link and it will give you all the information that you need here there's a couple of commands in here which you can run as well which gives you more information about it so let me just quickly show you how to delete volume shadow copies here by using one of these commands here you can see it all listed here in text i'm just going to quickly copy this command and uh, we can copy that open up a command prompt here and paste that in and you should see when we hit this it says no items found that satisfy the query and that's because it's been turned off and it's been deleted they're all gone so there is none there which is a good sign. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video here for you today. I'm feeling a lot better. I've still got a little bit of a way to go. Still got some chest problems and uh, some breathing issues, but my brother's still in uh, intensive care and still fighting for his life. But thank you for all your well wishes. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I really appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.